Welcome to day four of CRM analytics course. Yesterday you created your first data set and today is the time to explore the data set. Today you are going to create some amazing charts. So without further ado, let's dive in. So here's what you're going to see today. First, we'll start with important KPIs. So we'll look at the data sets and we'll identify how many products were sold. We'll identify what is the total revenue and we will identify the top product categories. Once we do that, we are going to start exploring data. Here are a couple of examples of the charts that you'll be creating today. We'll start with a simple pie chart and then we'll start with a stack bar chart that gives you more information about your data. Finally, we will get a little more advanced and we'll start creating some custom formula. The things that you see on this screen is something that you will use on every project. For example, we will cover running totals. We'll cover year over year change. We'll do conditional formatting. And then finally, we'll also cover reference lines. So I hope you are excited and let's get started. The first thing that you will do is log into Salesforce. After you log into Salesforce, you want to come to Analytics Studio. Once you arrive in Analytics Studio, you should see the data set that you created in Created by Me section. In case you don't see it, you can simply search the data set name in the search box. Click on it, and when you click on it, this particular tab opens. When this tab opens, CRM Analytics by default is always and always going to show you the total number of records in your data set, total number of rows in your data set. So when we hover over it, we see that the data set that you uploaded yesterday has 9,994 records. Okay, now the first KPI that we are going to do is look at number of products sold. It is telling us a number of rows, but we do not actually know how many products were sold. So all I can do is click here and when I click here, I get select a measure and there is a lot of options available. Uh, I have some count average maximum minimum unique median first standard deviation and so on, but we need some of quantity. So I'm going to click on some and I am going to click on quantity. Now when I click on quantity, I identify that 38,000 products were sold by this particular company. The next thing that we want to do is look at total revenue. It is very similar. Now, instead of sum of quantity, we are going to look at sum of sales. So when I click on sum of sales, I can see that $2.3 million worth of products were sold by this particular company. Okay, and finally, I want to see the top product categories. Now, I have the sum of sales, but I don't know which product sells the most. This is where the bars comes into play. So this will help us to group this particular information. So when I go here and let's select category, the product category, and when I do this, I get furniture, office supplies and technology. Now, as you can see, it is not arranged in the descending order, right? It is arranged in an alphabetical order, F, O, and T. We want the product that sells the most to be listed on the top. So it's very simple. All I can simply do is click on sum of sales here, and it is going to arrange the results in the descending order. Now, one more thing that I do want to show you is the query limit, okay? And the best way to show that is let's select the product name. Now, as you can see, there are several products listed here, right? I can keep scrolling down. There are probably hundreds of products listed here. What if you only want to see the top 20 products? You can click here and you can say, I want 20 and click on apply. And there you go. This will show you your top 20 products. If you want to see top five products you can simply go here, click on top five products, and that will show you your top five products. All right. So now it is time to start exploring the data and we'll try to create these two charts in the next few minutes. So let's go back to the screen. When you go back to the screen, we were here where we were looking at top five products. We were looking at some of sales and top five products. Now we want to create a pie chart that shows the product distribution of top product categories like furniture, office supplies and technology. And this is some of sales. So when I go here, I know I already have some of sales. Here, I need product category. So I'm going to simply click, click on product category. And once I do that, I get a chart, but this is a bar chart. Okay. I want to change this into a pie chart. 
to do that i am going to click on these on this button now there are three buttons available here one is charts the other one is formatting and the third one is history so let's click on charts here when you click on charts you see that there are several charts available to choose you can select a bar chart you can select a, a, a a column chart stack chart line chart timeline chart and so on not just that crm analytics will actually suggest few charts for you so if i go here look at this it is suggesting charts for us it you can select a pie chart you can select a stack bar chart you can select all these different kinds of charts right you can take a look at it and see which ones look the best for you for your business leaders and you can select these uh, these kinds of charts so let's start with this chart okay so when i click on this chart very clearly i can see that technology which is yellow has 836000 dollars worth of sales and it is 36.4% of 2.3 million dollars worth of sales okay the red one is office supplies which contributes towards 31.3% of the total 2.3 million dollar sales so this chart was very easily created and this is now done but let's go ahead and explore some other charts as well i am really i like this chart right so if i want to click on this it tells me the stack so technology is 2.836k 742k 719k and the total value is going to be 2.3 million dollars worth of chart oh, sorry 2.3 million dollars worth of sales so as you can see crm analytics makes things very very easy for you the next thing that we are going to create is this particular chart but before we do that i want to show you this button which is the history button and i absolutely love that so let's say you are on the screen you don't like this particular page and you or you don't like this particular view you want to go to the previous step right if you click here if you click here you will see all the changes that you have made since you opened the lens so the step before this was the donor chart so if i click here it will create a donor chart for you the step before that was the category so again if you click on this you get a bar chart with the three office categories it is absolutely amazing so if you ever think hey i made a mistake i want to go back to the previous step simply click on the history button and you can select the step that you that worked for you all right now the next thing that we want to do is now create this chart so i'm going to click on slide show because i want to see this picture uh, zoomed in so here let's let's take a look at what we have so we have we have the sum of sales which is already available as part of the chart we have the region and we have a sub grouping for the segment which is consumer and then we also have the ship mode right so the blue represents uh first class shipping orange or yellow represents second class shipping and green represents the standard class shipping and it is telling us this is for consumer for the central region this is uh the uh for for corporate in the central region and so on so let's create this chart okay so what i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to refresh the screen because let's start from scratch okay so let's hit refresh reload all right okay so we are at the starting screen we have count of rows and let's look at what we need here so we need sum of sales first so i'm going to add sum of sales so i'm going to click on sum and i'm going to click on sales now the three groupings that are required are region segment and ship mode okay so i'm going to simply go here and add region segment and we need ship mode all right now this chart does not look like what we have here this is a stack bar chart this year we have individual bars for for first class same day second class and standard class so all we need to do is now convert this chart into a stack bar chart and to do that we are going to click on this button because once we click on this button we get access to a whole different world of charts so i'm going to click here and i am going to click on stack bar chart and once i do that now this chart looks exactly like this particular chart i hope you had fun creating all these amazing charts tomorrow we are going to get slightly more advanced tomorrow we are going to create formulas formula like year over year change we are going to do conditional formatting 
we are going to create reference lines and we are going to take a tour of the recipe. If you completed this video, take a picture, share it on social media and do not forget to tag me. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you tomorrow.